So one more topic of conversation here. Let's talk about functions of three variables. Now, when it comes to a function of three variables, that means that you are going to have one dependent variable. We'll use w for the dependent variable. And we will use x, y, and z for the independent variables. Now, when it comes to the notation that we use for this, this would be w is equal to some function of x and y and z. Typically, what we try to do is keep the independent variables in alphabetical order wherever possible. Now, if we wanted to consider the graph of a function of three variables, this would be something that is four-dimensional. Now, four-dimensional doesn't really give us any sort of opportunity to determine what a graph like that looks like with our three-dimensional brains and our three-dimensional um, eyeballs. It becomes kind of difficult to visualize. However, what we did for graphs of functions of two variables is we said we can come up with a two-dimensional rendering of this by saying we have uh, level surfaces by setting our dependent variable equal to a constant. So if we do set our function equal to a constant, then you will create a level something. However, this is going to be an object in three dimensions and we'll essentially be treating that as um, one variable being a function of the other two. Well, then we're right back down to level surfaces. So a level surface is what you get when a function of three variables is equal to a constant. Now sketching these becomes exceptionally difficult. So what I'm going to do is just give you an example of what something like this might look like. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So here's a rather basic function of three variables. Um, in the event that I wanted to create some level surfaces, we'll set f of x, y, z equal to a constant. And we would have that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to k. Now to describe what these level surfaces look like, these would be spheres with the center at the origin and the radius being equal to the square root of k. So you could think of these level um, surfaces as being concentric spheres where the larger the value of the function, the larger the value of the radius of the sphere. So if you wanted to consider values of k like 0, 1, 4, and 9, those would correspond to spheres of radius 0, 1, 2, and 3, whose center is at the origin. I can't even fathom my drawing abilities would be sufficient to see what that would look like, but do feel free to check it out using the 3D graphing software that is posted to Canvas. Should be a pretty wild time.